Hey everybody, so today we have here, this is the A1466 MacBook Air. Still a pretty popular model to go around. You can use this again for the 2017 or anything else that does go around with that. But for this, we actually do have a problem. It's really with the trackpad. And sometimes when you push it down, it's not actually giving a tactile click when you go on there. So it could be from a lot of different things. It could be a battery being pushing it, especially when it gets swollen. It's a little trick that you can actually use with, uh, with one of those little Torx screwdrivers. And uh, we'll just show you guys uh, how to fix it. So when you push this down, this is supposed to actually make a click, and it actually is because uh, there's something actually in here that's making it click. So there's a screw that actually does hold it in. Some other times you can actually get like uh, a battery that might have a problem. It might be a bit swollen, and you might be might be pushing against it, and it might have give you a problem. So whenever you push down like this, it's supposed to click, and it's supposed to do something, at least move. Um, in this case, uh, what we need to do is at least open it and see really what the problem is. There was a nice Apple logo there. Yeah, so you just want to open it. All right, it should just come up. There's nothing really else to it. All right, when you have it open, always disconnect the battery. It's a little bit dusty in here, huh? <laughs> it's a bit dusty. Now we just want to make sure that the battery is removed. Um, right here, you might be able to tell if there's a swollen battery. You can see, look at the angle. These look pretty good, so it's definitely not a swollen battery. You would see a little bit of this come up a little bit, maybe be a little bit bulky and fat. Usually what it will tell you in the battery setting is that you, your battery is going bad and you need to replace now. Every single time it tells you that, that means there's a chemical imbalance inside the battery there, and it's usually going to be swollen eventually, and it's going to degrade the life of the battery that you have in there. Other times it can be really dangerous, especially when it bulks out. It's going to be bursting. You'll see the, the back of the actual MacBook get a little bit thick. And that's just any laptop, too. It's just the nature of lithium-ion batteries. So just they can go bad, and you just need to replace them. And uh, always take it to, especially like an authorized place. You can probably take it to us, too. We do the battery replacements here. But you can see it's thin. Looks pretty good. I don't see any swollen battery here. So what we're left with would be this uh, screw here. And... The worst case you ever want to do would be to replace this trackpad. I mean, there's just a bunch of screws here. It's very easy to strip these screws. But for a click, or maybe this little screw right here came a little bit loose. Most of the time, because this does have actual components on there, it's very easy for this to go bad, especially if you've seen any of the 2011, 2012. They're very easy to go bad, and the components are usually on the actual cable itself. This isn't the case in this model. The components are actually on the trackpad itself. So if you have any trouble with it uh, clicking outside of uh, maybe this type of issue, you may just need to replace the trackpad. Um, it's very rare that you do need to replace just the cable there unless there's been liquid damage or any type of corrosion, that this cable can affect actually the components that are on this uh, trackpad. And if you can also see that the keyboard cable is going to the actual trackpad as well. So if there is a problem even with the cable, or if this gets disconnected, then you lose the, the power of the, the keyboard and the trackpad as well. And especially on the newer ones, um, M1 and a lot of the other models, the M1, uh, the 1706, 1708, the 2016, 2017, through all of them pretty much, if you have a problem with uh, the keyboard, you may have a problem with the trackpad and vice versa. There's a lot of components, again, on the trackpad, especially for the, the newer models as well. They all have some type of components that go into it, and usually the keyboard connects to it. Most of the time, you do need to replace it. It's usually a pretty straightforward replacement. We have a video, actually, on that doing the 1706, and I believe maybe the 1932 might have as well. But this one might be a little bit more straightforward. Um, if you don't need to replace it, that you're just trying to get that click. It's not going. With the software, you can actually enable it just a touch when you tap it like this uh, in the actual setting of the Mac. And you can actually control just the mouse just to tap it so you can just use the touch feature instead of the actual physical click. But if you don't want to do that and you actually want your physical click and uh, it's giving you some issues, sometimes you can just screw, screw this in a little bit better or just loosen it. Now, as I'm loosening it here, you can see this, the screw will come up. You can actually see this move. You can hear a noise now. It's a little bit too loose, so it's not going to give you that nice uh, tactile click. That's loosening it up. If we tighten it too much, then it's going to what it's going to do is it's going to lift a little bit on this side. It's hard to show, but it's going to lift a little bit where it's going to come up and it's pushing down too much. So then you're never going to get a click. See? And that's just the shake of the that right there. So you're not getting anything. So you just want to find that perfect medium, and there's no right or wrong just until you feel it.
Now you can hear that nice click. And now we're actually getting a very nice tactile click here. And that's just, uh, sometimes the screw can come loose. It's, it can be a little bit corroded. This one's a little bit dirty, but we're not too worried about that. Um, some of them will come, some trackpads might come with it, but yeah, that's really it just to solve it right here. If you have a problem with it not actually clicking, then you would definitely need to replace the trackpad. Most of the time, you do have to replace the trackpad in that case. There's some type of component maybe went bad there. Trackpads usually aren't too expensive to replace, but the repair shops, a lot of them just do that, and it's a lot easier to go. So that's really it, at least for fixing the tactile bump of this. So as you can see, it's a pretty easy fix, and uh, a lot of times this is, these are one of the more lucky ones that can happen. But you get that nice little tactile bump and feel once you do a repair for it. And it's nothing doesn't take too long. It's always a good way just to check it. And you can also check out your battery as well as see if it's a little bit swollen or if there's anything else going on with it. But it's a pretty quick and uh, easy way to go. But anyways, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this just a little quick little video on how to on just how to do a little maintenance on the trackpad, especially if it's being pushed in a little bit and it doesn't need to actually be replaced. And we give a little pointers as well. Hope you guys found it informative. Please leave a like if you did find it informative. Please subscribe for more content. We love doing MacBook repairs. We, we do lots of liquid spills. We also do data recoveries. And uh, check out our store. We have all the links and the information below. Hope you guys enjoyed watching. Bye.